Hey everybody, welcome back to Exanima. I am Odin and we are continuing to check out the new update. So let's move on, shall we? And it's kind of odd that I'm using this long knife as a weapon. I generally try to stick with a two-handed weapon. Kind of strange that I'm using this, but we're going to keep we're going to keep using it. Keep trying. All right, luckily his arms are kind of screwed up. Actually, they're very screwed up. There we are. Never mind the fact that I was just missing still, even though he was no threat. <laughs> and that was fairly pathetic. All right, we don't need any of that stuff. Let's move that. Right, did that used to open all the way, or did it just open a little and you used to have to swing it open? I don't remember. Is there someone on the other side? No. Now, there used to be someone on the other side, didn't there? Well, maybe not. I can't trust my memories. It's been so damn long. Uh, what's going on here? I don't... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to open the other way. All right, let's go into here. And let's see. Just scanning the services, making sure there isn't anything we're missing here. All right, there is the always delicious health salve with its comforting blue glow. Go ahead and grab that. Luckily, we don't need it yet, which is kind of miraculous. Hey, look at these. Those are interesting bottles. I've got a syringe here. We've got some soap, a walking stick, and some fine suede shoes. No, thank you. Don't need those. But those different bottles looked kind of cool. Okay. Alright, we're going to go over here and look at some lore. As usual, you can go ahead and pause to read the lore if you need to. We've already done so many, many times. Many times. Alright, something that a, a viewer had pointed out was that occasionally it looks like Darren will say things to us. And apparently if we respond to him, it's going to open up some new dialogue options. So I need to keep my eyes peeled to see when he says something. He did say something in the last episode, but I didn't notice it. But I think he recognized one of the zombies was what it was. Okay, I tried to go in for a stab there. I didn't really have a chance. His attack was so fast. Coming at me with a bedpan. And these guys are aggressive as shit. Could really use some help here, Darren. Now I realize I have an axe, a two handed axe, as my secondary. Oh, hey, nice job, Darren. But it was a little too dark to, to switch to that, so that's why I didn't. Luckily, Darren turns out to be quite useful in this run, which is, okay, there's a, alright, there's our face plant. Still haven't totally gotten rid of those, but then again, I wouldn't really want them to get rid of the face plants, because I kind of love them. Alright, we got bathrooms this way. Let's go back. Okay, so there's another piece of lore there. No loot container in that room. Do have one here. Uh, and what is that? That is a, oh, a candle holder. And I've got some plates, a dish, a bottle, and some Jesus sandals. Uh... Okay, let's kind of get caught on the bed here. Uh, well, that's interesting. What is that? That is just a box. Uh, that is a halfway decent jacket. Let's, can I please get off this damn bed? Thank you. Now, what is Darren wearing? He's wearing a jacket. Eh, he's good on that. Okay. And I don't see a container here. Alright, so we've got two zombies in here. I think we're good on lighting. 
so I kind of want to switch to my two-handed axe. Now, I usually try to get these guys to fight each other. There they go. And so we're just going to wait for them to beat the shit out of each other, and then whoever's left, we're going to take care of them. We can kind of listen in for a moment. Let's get a sneak peek. Come on, go ahead, finish them off. There you go. All right. Let's go. Uh oh. Kind of blocked Darren out there. Let's try an overhead. There we go. A little dark, but we still managed it. Uh, wait a minute. Are these? Yes, these are thick quilted trousers. We need those. Thank you very much. And there's a decent leather vest, but we've already got that taken care of. Uh, what the hell is that? That is a brush. Uh, there's a heavy leather helm. Which one am I wearing right now? It's a superior. We'll give the heavy to Darren. Pop that on. Empty jar. There's a pouch. All right. All right. So looking at our health, we're still not doing too bad. I probably just jinxed myself by pointing that out, but only a little bit of red health damage. Whoops. Running into a table here. Some things never change. Okay. What's our lighting situation? It's good. Oh, whoops. I screwed up that overhead really bad. Whoops. Man, I really need to practice. I really need to practice, man. I am so bad right now. My aim is so off. There we go. Oh, man. My range is off. My aim is off. Everything's off. Okay, there's nothing for us there. I'm just going to keep the axe out until we get into a situation where we need some more light. Now, there's normally... Well, we'll do it here. There's normally not any loot over here, but I don't know if something has changed, so I just want to take a quick look. Okay, a bunch of empty coffins. Uh, nothing over there, and then we have the crematoria over here, same as always. Okay. Alright, this is where we came in. Let's switch over to the X. Oh man. Oh man. I need to back out of here so I can get some help from Darren. Oh, Darren just took a serious hit there. Alright, there we go. Man, I just. Oh god. I really need to go to the arena and practice, man. I really do. Is there anything in here? Unfortunately, there is not. Okay, despite our bad fighting and our bad playing so far, we're still doing okay. We're still doing okay. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Try and draw him back towards the light. I want him to swing so I can counter with an overhead. So I'm going to fake it. There we go. And I missed again. Man! Alright, get, get the hell out of the way, Darren. There we go. That's a little bit better. That's how things are supposed to go. Uh, actually... I think Darren could use a belt. There we go. All right, lore time again, if you want to pause there. All right. 
right, same thing with this. That's a pretty good read right there. What is that? That is a box. That is a pipe. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here, but of course none of it is useful. But this is what we were talking about at the beginning of the last episode, of how there's all these so-called mundane items to make things seem a little more realistic. Like the place, you know, actually served a purpose, people actually lived here, that kind of thing. There's a little bit of lore for you. And nothing over there. And that's just the washroom. Alright, let's go down to the end of the hall over here. Whoops, get on the right side. These lamps, are they magic? I'm gonna press T. What do you mean by magic? You know, the stuff thalmers do. That would be a binding, and that's not how it works. You can't just create light or a force. It must be borrowed from somewhere. This requires great concentration, and as soon as you stop renewing the link, it breaks. Or we could say, magic? Thomers? I think it's best you don't concern yourself. So let's act like we know what we're talking about. So you can't make a link that don't break? A perpetual binding? It's nothing more than an idea. Quite impossible. I like this enhanced dialogue stuff. A per never mind. But these dead ones then, what's binding them? That's a clever question. It's quite different, not impossible, but I didn't think it could be done. The dead control their bodies, you see, not the necromancer. Hmm. So we're starting to get some insight into how magic works in this world. I don't, but alright, so how do the lamps work then? I guess they must be alchemical. But don't they only work for a time? Then need to, uh, turning over for a time? Well, yes, but I don't have a better answer. Perhaps it's a more clever mechanism. I guess he's talking about these things right here. Right. Sorry for all the asking. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a curious mind, Darren. All right. Uh, I don't want that cleaver. Let's go over here. Take a look. Is that a quill? That's a or a reed pen, a bottle, and a knife, and a little bit more lore for you there. And it does not look like there's anything useful in here, sadly. Well, actually, take that back. Okay, well, <laughs> not really anything. There's a pestle. You can go with a mortar do some alchemy. Not that there's any alchemy that you can do right now, but I'm assuming that's something that will come later. Oh, that is very dark in here. Alright, we should run into a zombie any second now. Didn't there used to be one in that hallway? I mean, I know they move around, but... Usually run into one there. Okay, and there... Okay, well, there's a zombie right there. What's our lighting situation? That's not too bad. Are there two... Oh, no. Oh, man. Was that two hand... Oh, sh oh, shit! I'm about to die. I am knocked out, man. They... Both of them have two-handed swords. What the hell is going on here? I'm s I'm just I'm not used to the the new speed of the combat, man. It's totally throwing me off. Are they still fighting each other? I mean, that's that's great. They are, but I oh my god, I have to use my health self right now. And then we just kind of got to wait so we can get some regen going on. So what happened? Where did they go? Obviously, one of those zombies killed the other. Because I don't hear the sounds of combat anymore, but I need to get a two-handed sword. So we need to find out where they went. Let's check over here. Just checking these dark corners. They don't seem to have gone here. I guess they went backwards. Uh, 
okay, so that that's the one that kicked my ass, isn't it? All right, and there's a thick gambeson which we can give to Darren, of course. We've already got one on, so he needs that. Uh, I definitely want a two-handed sword. Absolutely. Now, I'm an idiot to go chasing down this zombie, but I really kind of want to. Because my health has not regened even to halfway yet. So I should just keep moving. But we're not going to do that. We're going to get killed, most likely. Because I just, I'm an idiot. What can I say, folks? What can I say? Oh, I thought he had a two-handed sword. He just had a metal bar all that time. Okay, whatever. Okay, that works. Obviously, I'm the best when it comes to... Or my best weapon, I should say, is the two-handed sword. I'm not the best at anything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, the two-handed sword is my best weapon. So I'm glad to have one of those now. It makes me feel a little bit more confident. But I still am just generally lacking confidence right now because the, everything seems so new combat-wise. And I keep saying I need to jump into the arena. I am actually going to jump into the arena probably later today and just do some practicing, uh, you know, off the air, if you will. Uh, or who knows? Maybe I'll make a video of it. I don't know. But some practice is definitely needed. But it is time to move on to the second floor. So let's do that. See if we start with a face plant. Hey, we didn't start with a face plant. That's new. If we're trying to get out, why are we going further in? I don't think we have a choice. There's nowhere else to go. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess I am right, Darren, so why don't you shut the hell up? Thank you. <laughs> Okay. As usual, there are zombies that are not aggressive, but we are going to be aggressive and we're going to fight them anyway. Okay, he's got a bedpan. The stab feels a little slower with the sword, with the two-handed sword. Right. Uh, don't need any of that. Certainly don't need a bedpan. That's locked. Alright, more company. This one's got a cleaver, we need to be careful. There we go. Nice little combo there. And, hmm. Well, not the Jesus sandals. The leather gauntlets, we're going to give those to Darren. He's slowly, slowly getting better armor wise here. Okay. Oh, I was thinking there was a loot container in here, but I don't see one. Never mind. Okay, and we do have a couple in here. So there's some soap. Uh, cloth trousers don't need that. And same stuff going on here. Don't need any of that. Alright. And there's another face plant for your amusement. Alright, just saw, yeah, I was going to say, I just saw a damn shadow. Alright, this is where things get a little interesting, because there's lots of zombies here, but there's also a hell of a lot of loot over here in the four corners, and that's what we'll check out at the beginning of next time's episode. So thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I really appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you guys next time.